In this video, I will show you how to create a button component that can be rendered in multiple color schemes using the color palette feature in Panda CSS. Let's start off by defining a button recipe using the CVA function from Panda CSS. We create a base style for the button, setting it to display flex, align items, center, Font weight, we give it a medium font weight. Uh, maybe also align the text to the center as well. And set the padding on the X axis to four and padding on the Y axis to two, set, giving it also a border radius of MD, which maps to six pixels. Next, we define the variants for this button. We create a variant called kind, setting it to either solid or outline. This means we're defining a button that could either be solid or outline. In the solid version, we'll set the background to blue, that's 600, setting the color to white. In the outline version, we'll set up the border width to be 1 pixels. Also set the color to be blue, that's 800, and define the border color to be blue the 600 as well. Now we've created the recipe for the button and the recipe has two kinds, solid and outline. Let's go ahead to apply this recipe onto the button element. For this button, we would pass in a class name, calling the button recipe and passing the kind of solid. So there you go, we see a solid button just as we have defined. The second one would have the same button recipe, but this time setting the kind to outline. And there you go, we have a button, two different buttons here, one is solid and one represents the outline. So far, based on our definition, we had coded the blue color, so anytime you render this, use this button recipe, you always have a blue color. But what if we wanted to make this pretty dynamic? Now this is where the color palette feature from Panda CSS really shines. We'll start off by replacing all the blue to a special keyword called color palette. Now the moment you do this, you see instantly that the button is broken. We we'll fix that in one second. Now the color palette feature here pretty much represents a variable or a virtual color. So to set the value of that color palette, we come in here and specify color palette blue. And there we go, it's now fixed. Now what has happened here pretty much is we created a variable this, using the special keyword called color palette. We're picking out the 600. So this makes the assumption that your blue color has 500 to 900 color palette values. And then you can actually be actually picking out the 600 value for the solid, 800 for the color in the outline variant, and 600 for the border color. Now what this means is I can switch this out to whatever color I want, which is awesome. To make this even better, we would remove the color palette attributes from here and move that all the way to the element level. So in the H stack here, I can decide to put the color palette as red here which means now that every element within that scope would in inherit that color palette value. Now why this is great is I can duplicate this and change the color palette from red to blue. And now we've got like another instance of the button, but now with the blue color palette. The color palette feature allows you to create very dynamic components, allowing you to switch out the colors for any of the components you have built very easily in a single attribute. Behind the scenes, it uses CSS variables. Because of that, it means that the variables can be set at, at the element level or at the parent level, depending on which you prefer. Now to wrap this up, I'll just take one more uh, and just change this one to green. So there you have it. Six different instances of the same recipe and can be dynamically themed using the color palette feature. To learn more about this color palette feature, visit the Panda CSS docs where we talk about the virtual color system using color palette. Now, this feature can be as robust or as simple as you want. So take a deep dive and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.